This video is going to show you how to start your code for your conveyor belt to elevator project. Yesterday I gave you your partners, so you should know that by now, but what I want you to do for this project is code, every, every single person should code individually. That means that it's going to have your name on it, not your partner's name on it, and this is going to be for turning in. So to start off, we'll talk a little bit about the project. What we're going to be doing is creating a conveyor belt that's going to move a small block of wood all the way over to an elevator. The elevator will be made of a chain drive or a lead, a lead screw. And the first, the, the conveyor belt part will be made out of a chain drive. So that means there'll be two motors, two separate parts of the build that you're doing. The first one will be the conveyor belt. The second part will be the elevator. So to start our, our code, you're going to go to Robot C for Vex Robotics 4.0. It's the circle one. Open it up. Once it opens up, you're going to go to File, Open, and Compile. You should have your elevator already saved. So File, Open, and Compile. Elevator, if it's not there, you can kind of poke around in your drive and see if you can find it. Should be in a Robot C folder. At that point, you should open it up and it should look like this. If it doesn't, let me know. I will help you get to this point. What we're going to do, the first part, is we're going to type in the title, naming it Elevator, your own name, date, and the section will be the period that you, you are in. I'm going to say second period. The task description is going to be found on the information page. Your task is to create a conveyor belt that will deliver a wood block to an elevator. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it. Pseudocode, don't worry about that right now. Then we're going to go and add the repeat forever section. That's going to be found within control structures, but if, if you don't see natural language already there, Go ahead and go to Robot Platform Type, Natural Language PLTW. I've already got it selected. So expand control structures. Go inside Natural Language. Repeat forever. You're going to go ahead and click and drag it. I'm dragging it to number 18. Let it go. Delete the body. And that's where all your code is going to go inside this body section. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this control structure so I don't get confused then you should have natural language. We expand it. So the first thing we're going to do, we're, we'll have a bump, uh, a button that will start our motor. And that will be until, that's until bump. I'm going to just click and drag it to number 20. I'm going to, at, at when I touch, touch the button, it's going to start the motor. So that means I'm going to go to movement, start motor. And then I'm going to have the motor go for a certain amount of seconds. I don't know how long yet, but I'm going to go ahead and click open up wait. Wait in time, that's in seconds. And then after a certain amount of seconds, it's going to stop the motor. So that, so this is telling me when it touches the button, it's going to start one motor, it's going to go for a certain amount of seconds, and then the motor is going to stop. That will be the part that has the, um, the, uh, the first part of your build, which will be the conveyor belt. At that point, whenever the block gets converted or gets moved over to the elevator, it's going to start another motor. So that means that we'll make that uh, until bump or until touch, depending on whether you're using a bump switch or a limit switch. We'll go ahead and do the limit switch just because I don't know, I know we don't have quite an amount, uh, quite the amount of buttons for everybody to have two. I'm going to say until touch. It's the very, it's very exactly the same as the bump, except for it doesn't have a delay time. Until touch, which would be the limit switch. When we touch it, it's going to start the second motor. It's going to go for a certain amount of seconds, which would be wait, and then it's going to stop the motor. So if I just put a space between, this is the first section, which would be the conveyor belt. This is the section, second section, which would be the elevator part. 
we haven't done the motor and sensor setup because we haven't troubleshooted and made, made sure that our cortex and motors work, but that's what we'll do today after you've done this. So at that point, you can go ahead and save. You've saved it in the elevator, and then we can today start doing our uh, cortex and motors, making sure they work.